And Keith, Mother's Day is looking great weather-wise, but you brought up a good point. How did brunch become a Mother's yeah. Day thing? Mm. Yeah, I don't know like why that became the standard thing. Uh, I, we used to do it. We used to do like lunch with my. I remember with my parents. And yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm doing dinner this year. I'm the mimosas, breaking- maybe. Yeah, <laughs> but, but is that for mom or is that for us? I don't know, at some point. Um, either way, this weekend looks great. No matter mm-hmm. what you, you want to get into, it looks really good. Today, solid, still really nice out. We're still in the 70s in a lot of spots, advertised 63. So we burst above that after, uh, of course, last week we were below average consistently, 70 in Bangor, 71 in Waterville. And the satellite is really clean, just a couple of clouds there across uh, northern Maine, a couple of cumulus clouds. I described them earlier as kind of flat. There's not much instability in the atmosphere, so the clouds grow and then they hit a spot where they can't uh, rise up anymore and they're just kind of flat little nuggets of uh, cloud out there, but even those are gone for the most part. Overnight tonight is clear to partly cloudy. Temperatures drop to about 50. Bounce back into the mid and upper 50s by tomorrow morning. And we make a run at 80 tomorrow. Not everyone will get there, but we'll see a lot of upper 70s. A lot of spots that will be very close to 80. And over southern and western Maine, there'll be just an isolated sprinkle possibility as we get just enough warmth to, to drive some cloud development down here. So just be aware of that. Um, I don't think it'll be a big detriment to the day, but if you're doing something like exterior painting or something like that, just be aware there's a a small chance of a shower over southern Maine tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night is mild again, mainly in the mid-50s, and then we're mild on Friday, but there is more cloud cover around and isolated showers and storms. But even though we've got showers and storms in the forecast, it's pretty warm. Upper 70s, this model has us pop into the low 80s once again on Friday afternoon. And if we get these showers out early enough, that's certainly a possibility. So we'll have two very mild days in a row. Here are the highs tomorrow, upper 70s to around 80, mid 70s or so into northern Maine and into the mountains. The overall flow here is still on this big ridge. We get a cold front end, that's Friday's chance of a shower or storm, and then the weekend looks good, getting cooler finally on Mother's Day as that cooler air drops down from Canada. So we've got that sprinkle over southern Maine possible tomorrow afternoon. The other thing that's not on the seven day, but I think it's worth noting, is Saturday afternoon in Aroostook County, there's a chance for a sprinkle. But again, I think this is a very small percentage of the state. Most of us are dry and pleasant on Saturday, but those two exceptions just worth noting. Temperature trend, nice, nice, nice. Even into next week, we pop back in the low 70s probably on Monday. And guys, um, next week has turned itself around quite a bit because it looked truly abysmal yes. for a while. <laughs> and now it looks fine. I mean, it's going to be a little bit cooler. You know, you can see Tuesday, for example, but it's still a lot better. And now I can tell you this because it's not going to happen. At one point, oh, I think it was Monday, the European model had for next Monday snow in like nope. Sebago. So uh, it, it looked <laughs> gruesomely bad. And we, sh- we, we shielded you from that so you didn't have to know. And now it's gone. Okay, well, I'll take fine over not great, so. Yeah, Yeah, this is a whole lot better. (laughs) (laughs) All right, thanks, thanks, Keith. Keith.